Do you guys like my pencil? $100. Man, that would suck if you lost that, right? So you guys, I'm excited today, and the reason why is because I'm answering a question that you guys have been highly requesting for me to do. You guys have been asking me since I started doing these speed mock-ups and stuff like that. Which, by the way, you guys can download those off Patreon. Like, I put them on Patreon, and you can get them whenever you want to. It does cost $5 a month, but you're really helping my channel grow, and you're helping my business grow as well. Go ahead and pick some of those up. Also, the one that I'm doing here today is going on Patreon as well. Links in the description box below. Mockups are becoming mainstream, and the reason why is because mockups sell designs. It's just no way around it. It's the reason why we have presentations. If you can't get your design made ASAP, then it's best to have a mockup. Why wouldn't you? But I can't just accredit success to the reason why mockups are just big like that. Facebook and Instagram is another reason why. With all them Facebook ads coming through in 2010, all of those t-shirts was just mockups on the background. And it was just one mockup on the background. But you know what? I wanna ask you guys a quick question. If you bought a shirt that said alpha on the tag but when you got it it said fruit of the loom would you trust that brand anymore on the flip side if the shirt you bought was red but when you got it it was orange would you even go back to that store anymore and that's the problem with this one mock-up that everybody's been using it's not true to your brand it's not true to the supplier and it's not true to your brand so the mock-up that i'm creating here today is gonna be completely true to the brand and completely true to the supplier, which is why I'm using not sponsored t-shirt brand. And I'm gonna use colors that are true to their brand. Now, admittedly, I can only use three, and the reason why is because I don't have an all-white shirt to make all these different colors and stuff like that. But we'll be so close to what they have on the internet that you cannot deny it. And like I said, if you guys want this one, it's gonna be completely free on my Patreon. So the moment that this video goes up, there will be a link in the description box below where you guys can go pick that up ASAP without paying anything. And if you guys don't want to miss any more of my freebies like this, go ahead and subscribe and bail me so you can get that notification as soon as I put those out. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get into these steps. Now, the first thing you have to do is cut this stuff out the background. And my preferred method is to use the pen tool. So if you guys don't know how to use the pen tool, I think I've done a lot of videos on it, but I might do an updated video. So if you guys want an updated video on how to use the pen tool, let me know in the comment section below. But you want to go through, get a nice accurate cut, and then put both of those on like layer mask. Now I'm doing front and back, and there's some things I got to manipulate out. But we first got to get the foundation so we can do everything else. Okay, and now once you get this cut, there's one thing that you got to do. Now, this shirt that I have right here is missing the back side of it, okay? Because it was on a mannequin. All you have to do to fix this out is just make a duplicate by hitting Command-J. Hit Command-T to bring up a transform. Right-click on that and then warp this, all right? And then warp everything into place. You'll have that done in seconds. But now that we got that out, we got to move on to step two, which allows you to change the color of your mock-up. Now you guys, this is the shirt that not sponsored t-shirt brand actually sent me, alright? And I can do so much with it as, as far as like coloring it. But as far as me trying to manipulate this pocket, I can't do too much with it because it's already hard blue. It's already like a dark blue. If I did my techniques to make this lighter, it's not going to turn out right. I've only picked three colors that I'm going to work with. Hopefully, Bella Canvas sends me out some more t-shirts and we can go from there with that. So what I did is I dropped in the t-shirt colors that I'm going to use and sample from. These came right off the internet, but these are two colors that I'm going to use. Of course, I'm going to use the standard one that they gave me as well. To be able to color this t-shirt, there's some things that it has to go through first. The first thing I need to do is turn this gray into a true gray. Because if you didn't notice, this gray is kind of on the bluish side. On the front t-shirt, hit Command U. That brings up a saturation panel. If I drop the saturation down, we start to see more of a true gray over here on this side. So I'm gonna hit okay with that. And because this is a smart object, it's gonna create a smart filter, right? I'm just gonna hit Command L real quick to bring up a levels. And with this levels, I'm gonna take the highlights and I'm just gonna bring it in. So now we have the white version as well, but we're not gonna worry about that. Hitting okay, I'm just gonna go back into my layers panel. Now, this shirt is technically ready to get its color change, right? I'm gonna turn off the pocket real quick and I want to slide all the way down here to the bottom to the adjustments and I want to bring up a photo filter. Now for me, I like to keep my density at like 95, all right? That just gives you a truer color, a truer natural color. But in doing this, we lost a lot of shadows, right? So I need to bring a copy of the front t-shirt above the photo filter and apply both of these to the t-shirt through a clipping mask. Now as far as this copy of the t-shirt, I want to put this on a darken and that's just going to go ahead and bring out those shadows that just kind of got left out. So when I click it on and off, you really can't see anything. But if I add like another levels by hitting command L, 
I can then bring in the darkest point and you can start seeing some differences happening. So there, we successfully changed the color of the shirts, right? Now let's apply the actual color of the actual shirt to these shirts, right? So I'm gonna bring in the front shirt real quick. And on the photo filter, I wanna go ahead and sample out maybe this blue right here. And that's about accurate. I think this is pretty right. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code real quick, hit okay, and then go into the back shirt and just paste that in real quick. So we'll paste that here and hit okay. And just so we keep these layers clean, I wanna name this group off of the t-shirt that we have this on. So I'm gonna turn back on the t-shirt colors and I'm gonna move this over so I can look at it. This is called the Heather True Royal Navy, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in. And because I didn't do that for the first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command J, go inside these groups real quick and then turn off the photo filter. We can also turn off the levels on these as well. Okay, you guys, this next phase here is the mock-up phase, and it's really just taking your design and making it realistic. Now, if you guys got mines off of Patreon, all you have to do is double-click into this smart object, drop it in, hit save, close out that window, and come back to this window to reveal that you have the most realistic mock-up ever. But right now, I'm gonna show you guys the steps to kind of get that in Photoshop, all right? So let's go back into it. Okay, so now all we have to do is just pretty much drop our graphic inside. Once you have your graphic inside, all you have to do is just position it where it needs to go and scale it down. Okay, once you have that, you wanna go ahead and drop in your back graphic as well. Let's just pretend this X right here is our back graphic. Then once we got it in position, just go ahead and hit enter or return. So now that we have our graphics in here, there's only one thing that we need to fix up and it's that we can't let this graphic go over on the pocket because it wouldn't get printed like that. So what we have to do is we have to go find the pocket inside of the layers panel. So I cleaned up my layers panel because we have to do this type of stuff. You guys might wanna go ahead and put everything into a group and then also clean up your layers panel as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and twill down and find that pocket, right? Once it's found, I'm just gonna hold command and click. Then on that graphic, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a layer mask on top of it. Now this took out the graphic. All I have to do is just invert the layer mask by hitting command I and I'll bring back the cat, but take out the graphic that's on top of the pocket. We don't want that. Now, if you guys aren't using pocket tees, this doesn't even apply to you. But if you are using a pocket tee, just know that your graphic won't be printed on a pocket. That will be inaccurate. Okay, so great. We got both of these graphics in here and they look pretty nice, right? Now it's time to make them look realistic. And to make these look realistic, all I have to do is apply the shadows and the textures onto the actual graphic. If I took the shadows from the t-shirt layers that I made and applied it to one of these graphics, as you can see, it transformed the graphic and it makes it look like it's a part of the actual t-shirt. The only thing that we have to really change up on this is that we need to turn this layer from a darken to a multiply. And then we have to clip it to the graphic. Clipping it to the graphic prevents the entire document getting affected by whatever that graphic is doing, okay? So make sure that you clip it to your actual graphic and you can go on from there. The next thing we have to do with this is pull out the shadows from the shirt. Because this still doesn't look too realistic, we have to make sure that we have shadows from the shirt actually working on the graphic. So what I usually do is I go into my curves and then I clip that to the graphic as well. Then in this curve adjustment, I kind of pull down the midpoints, all right? I try to pull it down as much as I can without it getting too dark. In the layers panel, I will go to the layer mask and hit Command I to invert it. And then with a brush, I would just paint in all the shadows that affects the shirt graphic. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the shirt graphics opacity to like zero. And then with a soft white brush, I'm just gonna brush in all of the shadows that needs to come in. So you won't be able to see it because the graphics opacity is turned off. But once you turn it back on, you'll be able to see the effects of what's happening. So if I go back to the graphic and bring the opacity back up to 100, this is what we're getting now. And this comes from the curve adjustment. As you can see, there's more shadows happening and it looks more realistic. This is what Photoshop is for. This is the beauty of Photoshop because you can make fake things look real. So the mock-up practice is really easy. Once you start doing it more and more, you really have to practice. So when you get time, go home and practice. Hopefully you guys wrote this down so you guys can get that. But I wanna see you guys as mock-ups. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and send me what you guys have been doing. I would really love to see it. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll be able to share that out with you. As a matter of fact, I really like Twitter more than I like Instagram. I really don't like putting up pictures on Instagram because it's just whatever that algorithm thing. Man, forget all of that, right? Twitter, however, if you send me something on Twitter, all you have to do is at me and I'll be able to retweet you. Who doesn't want to get retweeted, right? So follow me on Twitter and Instagram and let me see what you guys have been doing. So if you guys have learned something today, go ahead and like and subscribe and don't forget to bell me so whenever I put something out, you can get it.
Go ahead and share this video out with somebody, maybe your classmate who is in the same class with you or another entrepreneur trying to start his or her t-shirt business. They need to know about the mock-up process. And this idea works with almost all the Photoshop starting with CS3. But with that being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative above all else, stay awesome.